Jack here, JB of Music Guitar Lessons, and this looks to impress with going off the arpeggio hook in both the original ABBA and the Malmsteen cover version of Gimme Gimme. First up, the Inkway one. <laughs> I don't have much to add here, I mean I'm in standard tuning where Zingvu will play in E flat and I tend to pick this 12th fret here so I think he hammers it but I tend to uh, pick it because I just find that a bit easier. I couldn't find any live versions of him playing this so I'm not 100% on the fingering but this seems to make sense in terms of how we normally approach things like this. Yeah so make sure you get a good wide but controlled vibrato on those sustained notes. Oh and uh, watch out for the timing in bar 2, this bit here. It took me a little bit to get down, but just slow it down, pay attention to it, I'm sure you'll get it. Um, I actually find this bit easier, instead of going... I find it easier... I'd move the note to there and doing a bit of a string skip. Uh, that's not particularly common in English playing, so I don't think that's how he does it. But uh, the advantage of playing here is for me it makes this run a bit easier, and because I'm playing this note here, instead of here, I can get that a kind of wider vibrato on it by pushing the note up. So I've got tens on here, so that's a little bit trickier to do with my first finger. I suppose the real balance is between how close to the original you want to get it and what you find easiest to do. I tend to opt for making things easier. I've been spent a lot of time uh, trying to take the authentic route. I feel like you'd have progressed a lot quicker uh, playing to my strengths or just going with what I find easiest rather than trying to challenge myself a bit too much. The only final thing here really is if you find a stretch here from the 7 to the 12 a little bit tricky, uh, just start off further up the fretboard where the frets are closer together. So we even play this one. So just kind of move that down, you know, a semitone or two. I kind of keep moving it down until you find that position here. Uh, comfortable enough. That is actually quite different from the ABBA one, which I've arranged for guitar here. <laughs> Transposing another instrument onto guitar, we face a few issues of how to play it, what position, what fingering to use, etc. The way I found most comfortable to play is the way I demonstrated there, but you might want to experiment with some different shapes. So for example, the first arpeggio there, the D minor, you could do it like in the Malmsteen example here. Uh, you might also want to try it here, probably a popular choice for some of you. And you can also go here. Now whether you play this note here, or hammer it on, and pull it off, it's up to you, you know, just whatever is the easiest thing to go for there. Now the reason I went for this one, is just because I find it the easiest to do. Uh, this one here, you can probably get a bit quicker, but the problem I had was going from the A minor. Because my finger is here, what I then had to do is move down and bar at the same time. Which I can kind of do, but when I played it up at speed, uh, I, was, I was kind of slopping those notes. Um, I could have practiced this and got the technique together, but I thought I'd just point it out and stick with the way I find easiest. Another thing you could try is sort of doing a, a bar on the same minor. So I'm not actually holding anything down here, right? But what I'm going to do is roll my first finger. So instead of playing like that, I'm using the kind of almost the knuckle of my finger to hold down the note. And what that means is when you come down for the D, your finger is already in place for the roll. Again, this is something I could have spent a bit of time on and got together, but I thought I'd take the easy path 
<laughs> I'd go with the one I found easiest. But because I found these examples of different ways of doing it, I thought I'd share them with you because you guys might benefit from it. Cool. So as always, I really hope this video has been useful for you guys, that you've learned a cool new, albeit somewhat kitsch lick, which is kind of cheesy, instantly recognisable, and also still quite difficult to play. If that has been the case, you've taken something away, new bit of information, want to show support for the channel, please do consider to share, like, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Cheers guys.